Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and this is The Fields Full House. So today's video is gonna be a grocery haul video for you guys. We are starting this grocery haul off with Walmart grocery pickup. I'm so thankful for this service, y'all. Especially with big orders and that's what I got today. We got groceries here, on the step, on another row, on the center console area, on the passenger seat, we've got a lot of groceries here. and. Well, Walmart grocery pickup is a godsend for that because there's just not enough room in the buggy anymore, y'all, whenever I do a big order. So in case you are new here, I am the mother to 11 children. We normally share family vlogs on here. About once a month, I share our grocery hauls with y'all and how we feed our family. I will include kind of my meal plan for this upcoming week. Um, after today, later this week, I'm also gonna go to our meat store. It's time I usually stock up for meats for the month. Um, and I will have to go to Sam's later on this week, but I just got a lot at Walmart to start us off for this week because we've got a busy couple days um, and just needed to make sure, you know, that I had everything right now until I can get to the other stores, if that makes sense. I know you mamas understand. I just don't have the time to, we have plenty of meat in the freezer right now, but I will need to go by the end of this week. And, you know, Sam's is just gonna have to wait a little bit. Anyways, y'all, whenever I get groceries, Okay, we have to put them in the side because this is not a cargo van. It is a people van. <laughs> There's not a trunk in our big van. So we have to put the groceries in the side. And the poor guys who open and close this door for loading the groceries, they just have a hard time closing it. They're so afraid of slamming it. And that's just what you got to do. You got to put a little muscle behind it. And that's what I tell them every time. I'm like you poor things. You just got to put a little muscle behind it. You're not going to hurt the door. I promise. Anyways, also, I was at the beach twice this weekend. Hence the sunburnt nose. My kids let me know this morning as we were getting ready for church. Mom, your nose is really red. Okay, enough yammering. We're going to get home, unload these groceries, and show you what we got. Back home, got everything unloaded, and Addison and Peyton helped me get everything organized. So we're going to start at this end of the table. So here's the milk section. So we only needed, we still have milk in our fridge, so I just obviously got what we needed. We only need one gallon of almond milk. We got three of A2 because we were almost out of that. Also got some heavy whipping cream for some of the meals that we will be having three gallons of regular milk, a coffee creamer is down here, and then sliced cheese for sandwiches. I got three, <laughs> I got three packs of 18 count eggs, and then I got eight loaves of bread. Okay, um, two packs of hamburger buns. We will be having sloppy joes, so you will see, you know, some of the ingredients for that. A baguette, because y'all, once you have bruschetta, you need to have it again, so. Got a baguette for that. So just got a couple bags of chips. So we got Fritos, Doritos, regular Lay's. And then where are the other granola bars? Oh, I see them. All right, so we got the peanut butter granola bars over here. The regular chocolate chip are over there. So two boxes of the peanut butter. We got some taco shells for taco night. Um, turkey for sandwiches. So Eggos for, you know, different breakfasts. Chicken taquitos, two boxes of those. Four big boxes of the regular granola bars that we like. And then I got, I think it was 10 cans of pinto beans. We make our own refried beans with that. Um, some Greek yogurt, two packs of the frozen hash browns, a big bag of the curly fries. I do these whenever we have sloppy joes. So we recently tried these chicken nuggets and they're pretty good. They're the air fried chicken breast nuggets. I don't know if they were pretty good. So I got two bags of those. Four bags of broccoli and two bags of the green beans for, you know, various meals. And then I got a bag of the potato wedges. So just, those just looked good when I first do my grocery order last night. Okay, so then over here, I got some bananas. We got two cantaloupes, um, some lemon, and this, oh my goodness, that's a lot of jalapenos. That is not how many I thought that I was going to get. I had to buy it by the pound, so... Anyways, that's jalapenos, y'all. And then I got peppers. I got three packs of peppers for various meals to Sloppy Joe's. I'm going to make um, homemade salsa. That's what the jalapenos is for, too. I got three onions here. And then I got serrano peppers as well. And then we've got... Did I only get four packs of strawberries? I thought I got more than that. Hmm. I think I thought these were the big packs. So I'm going to make a dessert. Tomorrow night we are going friend's house for dinner and I'm bringing you a dessert and a side so it's gonna make strawberry bread I don't know it'll be enough anyway so all right two bags of gala apples 
one bag of pink lady apples, one, two bags of the Granny Smith apples, three cans of baked beans. That's what I'm bringing for dinner tomorrow night. And then I got four cans of tomato sauce, four things of crescent rolls for doing taco pockets one night, Italian dressing. I use this for, uh, it's like a staple in our house that we do for meals, obviously salads, some peanut butter. So I got unsweetened chocolate chips to make a dessert for me. Right, less sugar. Yeah, those are stevia sweeten. I said unsweetened, stevia sweeten is what I meant. Powdered sugar, basmati rice. Um, so I made this before. It's like a keto crunch bar, and that's what the chocolate and the sunflower seeds are for. And I already have the other nuts that I need on hand. Powdered sugar, so various pastas for different meals. Two boxes of penne pasta, salatini pasta, two boxes of those, rigatoni, um, some coffee. Two bags of chocolate chips, which I forgot to get cocoa powder though. Um, I got three bags of the French fried onions because I'm going to do broccoli rice and cheese casserole soon. Two things of rice pilaf. I already did that. So we got goldfish, two things of crackers, and two boxes of stuffing mix for another meal that we do. So I have planned for eight different meals, and they are sloppy joes, chicken pot pie, rigatoni, taco pockets, burrito bowls. And I typically do that with chicken. So I'll put like chicken in a crock pot with salsa and taco seasoning. And then that is like, great, you know, just an easy meal. You might do that tomorrow. <laughs> um, chicken penne bake, which is a pasta dish with broccoli. That's super good. A chicken parm. There's a lot of chicken meals <laughs> this week. Chicken parm noodle. It's on, I haven't made it before. It's a new recipe. I've been wanting to make it for a long time. But it's on Pinterest. I don't know the exact name of it. I just wrote down chicken parm, but this is what I'm meaning. It's like a chicken parm pasta dish. And then pork chops is what we will have one night. And whenever I go to Sam's, I'm gonna get those little potatoes that they have there to go along with that. So that's the meal plan. This is the first stop at the groceries, for the groceries. And then, like I said, we will go get more later this week. So y'all, I have to share this with you. <laughs> so did my grocery order last night at 1230 at night. Okay. Because that's what every good mom does, right? <laughs> so whenever I saw the Serrano peppers on the Walmart app in my brain, I read Shishito. I was like, Oh good. I like those. And so Logan likes peppers and he saw the Serrano peppers and he was like, Hey, can I have one? I was like, yeah, sure. And Nathan's like, um, are you sure that those aren't hot? And I was like, then it clicked that it was a different name. Not what I thought that it was. Was it hot? <laughs> yeah. She thought it was a regular. I thought it was a shishito pepper. Was it hot? Yeah, he tried it. No, they said that it was like five or ten, ten more hotter than a jalapeno. Yeah, so we Googled it. Yeah. My mistake. I'll blame on you. Yeah. All right, so a couple days later and I was able to get to Sam's Club. I have not made it to the meat store yet. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Okay, so we got some regular kitchen garbage can or garbage bags. We use this for bathroom garbage cans. Yes, and that's for Daddy for his birthday. You want to show it? Okay, let me see. So today is Nathan's birthday and he's been really liking these shirts. He's got one or I think he's got two of them actually. So I got another one of those for him. Yes, he's 42. Good job, Drew. <laughs> and you're two. Yes, you are. Okay, so we got spaghetti sauce, ketchup. I got a pack of bacon. We needed some more shampoo and conditioner. Addy asked for these chocolate thins, so I got those. And then a case of diced tomatoes, goldfish, a case of green beans. Over here, I've got baby wipes. So I'm making Mexican lasagna tonight for Nathan's birthday. So I got a big pack of ground beef there. Um, I got some taco seasoning, hot dogs for an easy lunch one day this week. I think I already said a case of green beans, right? Butter. So also tonight for his birthday, I'm making berries and cream. So we needed a lot of berries for that. So I got four packs of strawberries, blueberries and raspberries, some more bananas, various chips, you know, cheddar, cheese, ruffles, Doritos, Regular chips, Tocito chips, and Fritos. Um, two big blocks of cheese. One thing of cucumbers. Our cucumbers are pretty much done in the garden, which is very sad, but um, so I had to get more honey. And then several of the kids and Nathan really like this chicken fried rice. So that's nice for like 
a quick snack or lunch or something. Needed some more garlic. Then I got this lemon juice um, for making lemonade as well. And then two packs of tortillas, Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, and hot dog buns. It's the next day, y'all, and I just got back from the meat store. So I go about once a month, and I get enough meat for the month from a local meat market. And I was able to get a lot of chicken, y'all. I was able to get nine packs of chicken. Each of those packs is just over three pounds each. And then I got, I don't remember the amount that I bought, but I got several packs of ground beef as well. And all of this will just go in our deep freezer and, you know, will last us the month. This might last us a little bit longer than a month. I also got a pack of celery and carrots to have as snacks. That's it for all the grocery hauls. We should be good for a, a little while, right? Like this should last a little bit. Mom plans, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we'll see y'all in the next video.